Coming up, a Kanaki tutorial on how to upload your music CDs to print them on demand. Hey guys, it's Simon from Dead Call Apps, and in this video, I want to show you how you can upload your own CD to Kanaki for printing on demand. Now, what you want to do is you want to log into your account, or if you've got a new account, it's new publisher, and you'll come to this screen. Then what you want to choose is depending on what you want. So I'm going to go for an audio CD. Um, you can do an MP3 CD as well. Um, and you can now also do 12 inch vinyl, which is pretty cool, uh, which I've got in a different video. So if you want to find out how to do that, you can. So for now, we're going to go for a dual case, which is a normal CD case. And we'll choose CD and upload audio files. Now, the CD that I'm um, uploading is actually a uh, CD that of my late dad's music. Uh, I found th I had uh, three tracks recorded on cassette tape, which I've now digitized, um, and I want to get a CD printed. So this is my sort of pet project, and I'm showing you um, basically the steps of how to do it. So you browse for your artwork. So we're going to first of all pick the front cover artwork. Um, now you want the front cover artwork to be JPEGs and I will include, uh, if you stay to the end of the video, I'll include a bonus um, templates and an extra special bonus as well. So upload, you select your cover and click upload and watch the file upload. Then you next want to upload the inside case sheet. So obviously when someone opens the case, there's like a little insert. It's just a one sheet insert. Um, so browse for that. And select the insert. And upload that. And then you want to browse for the CD artwork. And upload that. And like I said, at the end, um, underneath this video, I'll have a link so you can download my templates. So you can easily then just drag and drop in your own images into the templates, um, which should help. Um, so this is the disk tray with the side um, bits on it as well. Now you come to actually uploading the tracks one by one. So all you need to do is basically browse for the um, MP3 files. So name what the file is, uh, what the track is, you can have uh, up to 20 uh, tracks on a CD, but uh, we've only got three. So upload the first one. Just hit the upload button and you can see it uploading. And you can write the names, obviously, of each track as well. I'll browse for the second file. And upload an MP3 again. And obviously you can add up to 20 tracks. And I'll just upload the last file. But I like Kanaki because you can basically, once you've got your product on there, you can then sell it over and over again and they will print it and ship it usually within 24 hours out to your customer, which is really cool. It means that you don't have to print and ship any CDs yourself. So the next is the information that they're asking for. Now this is some this is a bit you could miss if you don't um, if you're not careful. Um, above the title, there's a checkbox, and if you tick that, you get a actual barcode. Um, Kanaki will actually generate a UPC barcode for you, so it actually looks you know proper retail. So I'm just going to write in the title. You can add in a subtitle if you want. Release date, copyright message. Obviously, what label? Uh, potentially that you signed to, um, or maybe you're you know doing it by yourself. Website performed by a few other information. The only two things you have to have is title and label. The rest is optional. And like I say, I'll check that so I get a barcode, um, you know, proper retail barcode um, added onto the back of the CD uh, included. So that's all obviously a good thing to do. Um, and it just adds that little bit of extra sort of quality there. 
I'll just put dead cool apps as the label. And now hit submit product. Now basically all the info will then be uploaded to Kanaki servers. So it might just take a little while for it to send everything. And you'll get like a real time update that will actually tell you like, you know, what's happening. So it's received the product. And then after every 30 seconds, it will like update. And then eventually you'll get an email. Um, depending on how busy they are, you might have to wait an hour or two. But usually, um, in my experience, once you've uploaded this, you'll get an email within, say, five minutes um, from Kanaki to say, yep, that the item is on there. And there we go. So we've got the email. So it's sure uh, CD is available for manufacturing. So you can configure your retail options within Kanaki here. You can, if you, it's your first um, time uploading a product to Kanaki, you're allowed to get one free review copy, which is pretty cool. You can check out, um, you know, what it is. If you want to use their own um, retail page that they'll create for you, you can add in the retail price and enable that service and it will show up um, and you can rotate the case. Now you can send buyers to this page if you want. It's a bit of an ugly page. Um, and it's not really mobile op optimized, but I've got a solution for that a little bit later on in this video. Um, but yeah, there's some various options here where you can add in, like say the retail price, you can add um, enable uh, the page and um, you can also pre-fund your Kanaki account for any orders that come in. So I'm just going through and just um, setting these up for this CD. And it will actually give you like a sales page for that main product and a uh, PayPal. If you want to set up a PayPal sales page as well, um, you could do that. Or if you want to set it as like a digital download, you can do that. So these are just all the settings that um, that you can use to yeah, basically do that. So if you want to order your product, you want to click on this one, which is order and ship your product to multiple um, shipping addresses. I'll just click on that button because I find it's the easiest one to navigate. You can then choose quantity um, and then and, uh, your shipping details. So I'm going to add in the office here um, to get one of these CDs that I've just uh, uploaded shipped to me. So you just enter all your details in there. The shipping. Now, Kanaki can print uh, ship to most countries, not every single country, but uh, most countries that you'll need to. So I usually just, it, it comes up with a cheaper shipping already pre-selected. So I'll just click next and next. And then I can then pay either via credit card or PayPal, the five, uh, currently $5.83 to get the uh, CD shipped to me. Um, from the USA. Now, obviously, I live in the UK, so that will come to me, but obviously, you can get sent to USA and it'll probably be quicker. So, they will print this within 24 hours usually and ship it out to me. And with a bit of luck, I'll get it in a week or so. Now, if you're in the US, you'll probably get it in a few days. Um, so, I'm paying via PayPal, but you can pay via um, credit card if you need to. Okay, so I I uh, promised you a couple of bonuses, um, and this is the first one. Now, obviously, when you've got your product set up on Kanaki, they, you can set up your own retail page um, via their website if you want to. Um, you enter the retail price and click Enable Service, and then they will uh, produce a product sales page for you which is this. Now, this is all good and well, and someone can come in here if they want to. Um, if you send them, obviously, the link to this page, and they can enter their details to purchase. Okay, so this this works, but it's you know quite an ugly checkout, um, and it's not very it's not good on mobile either. So, really, the best thing to do is 
um, set up a Shopify store. So I think the basic Shopify store is fairly cheap, it's like 30 bucks or something. And um, this is so this is basically what I've done. So I've set up a Shopify store. Um, there's a link to sign up if you want to do that um, underneath this video. And then once you've got your Shopify store, you want to then go to the Shopify. So you'll log in and this will be your dashboard. And if you go to visit the Shopify app store, you'll come to the app store. And if you type in Kanaki Fi, there's actually an app which I created, which is um, called Kanakify. And it's like $5 a month for the 30 day free trial, which you can try it out. So if you click on add the app, that'll install it into your Shopify account. And then basically you can then set up your product listing to be nice and fancy. And this will be all mobile responsive. Um, and then when someone comes to your Shopify store, clicks to purchase your CD, what my app does is it basically takes the information from the customer from Shopify, sends it straight to Kanaki for it to get printed automatically. So if you want to try it out, you can do so for 30 uh, days free trial and it will yeah, basically give you automatic um, printing and shipping of your CDs. So if you've got a Shopify store and you've got your CDs on there and you're selling, say, your music, um, if you set it up in this way that every time you get a sale, um, the sale will automatically go to Kanaki to get printed and shipped to the customer without have, you having to do anything extra. Um, now for the second bonus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually include a link below if you want to download the templates for the retail CD because, you know, setting up the back of this, if you're not a graphic designer, can be a bit of a pain and the templates that Kanaki supply aren't that great. So what I'll do is I'll include my own templates um, that I've used uh, that you can then just download and then update the graphics on. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did and I'll speak to you soon.